The reason is because it is very small and it is very compact, it is premium, it is easy to ride. Not everyone should go and set love on Harley Davidson. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the Leon Chino 500. Oh man, what an awesome motorcycle to ride. So I was riding this motorcycle <laughs> in the city for some time and some highway roads also and of course I'll be taking you for a ride. So just enjoying with this motorcycle in this beautiful morning and I have a lot many things to talk about this. So let's get into the uh, general aesthetics parts of this motorcycle. So it looks damn bloody awesome. I have to say that I was just rolling at that uh, red color variant of this motorcycle back there at the showroom. It looks so nice man. The kind of paint quality, the kind of uh, the chassis that you see all over here and it looks all premium and it feels rigid. It gives you a very nice feel and premium touch about it. And of course the the line cub sitting over there. So <laughs> Leon Chino means a line cub. So and this feels like that only because it's small and it's uh, powerful and it's very fun to ride in the city. So let's look around what all we can see. So it comes with a small wind visor. We can get a wind protection till 120 and all and fair enough and a beautiful looking headlight oh my god that's what i'm liking and the indicators looks really nice and the chunky front forks man that, that's what giving this motorcycle a different look itself like it's huge and you can you can feel that from the outside itself double disc in the front and single disc in the back and uh, with this kind of a motorcycle and with this kind of a way this brake is doing justice to this uh, setup and the exhaust man so really nice this is the same kind of exhaust that you uh, have seen on the 302R so not exactly the same kind of exhaust the same character that it has the reason is because uh, during idling and all in the lower rev range the exhaust is like sweet and it's nice so you go past beyond uh, 6000 7000 rpm this makes really loud noise and it's good so when you want to ride loud just go to the higher rpms otherwise you can be in the lower rpms and have fun and the seat looks good and it's a little onto a tighter side especially when you compare to the TRK and all but it looks good and all together it looks good man the look at the tail section the grab rail and everything they have made so brilliant and this kind of a tire hugger or the mud flap they have kept uh, I think I have seen this kind of setup in some of the Italian motorcycle and looks very nice also and truly truly i'm loving this motorcycle the reason is because it is very small and it is very compact it is premium it is easy to ride this rod handlebar is like really wide you have the complete control on the motorcycle even though it is little heavy on papers but you don't feel that when you're riding this motorcycle look at that so let's get onto the motorcycle and ride for some time oh my god so you look at the seat the seat is wide and uh, it's little onto the harder side the motorcycle is actually tuned in a way that you can uh, use it in the city as well as uh, some highway rides not exactly a tourer if you want to tour then i think 300i is the best choice uh, in this kind of a segment so let's get on to the motorcycle so just getting onto it you can see a low seat height benelli that's really good nice touch because uh, generally Benelli's are made with uh, a little more iron than what you expect on other motorcycle and it's a little heavy but on this motorcycle even though it's a little heavy on papers that's the reason why you're told it's not so heavy I mean you can see that and the handlebar is like really wide it's wider than the standard models and the brake feel is okay that's what I told it the brake feel the punch is good it can stop this mot motorcycle in no time it's really nice that I loved it from this angle I feel like yeah it, you can have a little more bigger tank Aesthetically, it would have add some more bit to it if you have a little more bigger tank. From outside, it definitely looks good, no doubt in it. So let's look into the instrument cluster. What all we have here? You have a large tachometer here and the speedometer, gear position indicator, and the time, the temperature, fuel meter. So let's look at what all things that we can toggle here. Total kilometer, trip A, trip B. That's all. And on the side, uh, you have miles per hour and kilometer per hour. So that's all. All basic stuff. It's really nice and you can see that the front forks are adjustable so on this motorcycle the front as well as the rear forks are adjustable and uh, it's mostly tuned for a city ride where you have some amount of comfort as well as some amount of confidence over the corner that's what I see so yeah let's hear the best part of this motorcycle the exhaust
I don't love to rev too much when I'm not riding. When I'm riding, I would like to take it to higher revs. But if I'm not riding, then I don't want to. Like, I, I, I just hate putting out on the neutral and revving the motorcycle to the nuts. So, so you see that I'm gonna take a U-turn so I can grab this grab rail and easily push this motorcycle. Like being a short guy, it's like a beautiful thing to work on. So the bottom end of this motorcycle, the bottom rev ranges as well as mid uh, rev ranges are like decent enough. It doesn't give the feel that uh, you're riding a big motorcycle, especially a big capacity motorcycle. But once it go past that 6000 rpm, oh man, it's different animal altogether. It redlines at 10k rpm, that's fair enough. I can just show that to you. You see that the motorcycle is like very silent, it just growls. The line curve just growls. It's almost like riding a normal motorcycle. So in the city, mostly you'll be using uh, the second gear and the third gear. If you have hectic traffic, then I think you'll be using the first gear. And you can ride it in this kind of a pace, but when you get an open highway, Well, that's a good braking test. Brakes are nice. You see that this motorcycle is all about top end. If you want to extract this 500 cc power, then you have to go to the top end. So the wider handbar actually gives you good confidence when you're riding on top speeds as well as you can tuck your thighs inside and you can be much comfortable and it, the motorcycle feels very aerodynamic. So on this motorcycle the cruise speed is somewhere from 125 to 140 km per hour and that's what you expect from a 500cc motorcycle. Uh, when you're buying a 500cc motorcycle and uh, you find a sweet spot at 125 kph, that's what you want in India. Like that does complete justice to the 500cc tag. So the clutch is not so tight and not so plushy. So in the sense it is moderate, you don't get that much of a hand pain if you are using it in the city. But still if you have hectic traffic then you are gonna have a little bit of pain with using this clutch. And the gearbox is like a typical Bentley gearbox that it is crisp. It doesn't give you any false neutrals or anything. These kind of speeds, the 80 is nothing on this motorcycle in the 6th gear. So you see that the, the suspension is actually doing a good thing. I, I told you it's not too soft. It's not too soft and it's not waving like that. And it is exactly tuned for a comfort ride and to give you confidence on high speeds. The rear suspension is also like that. Not the softest of all, but the, the exact tightness that you want. you one thing that when I touch the 160 kmph mark the motorcycle is like rock solid okay that's where the weight comes and plays a big game the motorcycle is like super solid even though it's a street naked motorcycle like it's super solid but as I told this motorcycle is all about a top end so when you get an open highway like this it's good you can rip it around you can you can go for small tours actually don't worry about it and this motorcycle is like ideal for city use also so if someone is upgrading from uh, a royal enfield or some other low capacity motorcycle and they wanted to buy a new one and they want to settle on a motorcycle this one is really a good one to look at not everyone should go and settle up on harley davidson the reason is because many people go and buy a harley davidson because they wanted a much more bigger motorcycle which has good road presence and uh, they want a premium motorcycle that's the reason why they go and buy the harley versions so of course you have the Harley street versions like the 750. The street 750 and the street rod 750 are not exactly the kind of Harley Davidson that you typically see. The typical Harley Davidson start from the iron 883 model. 
so you have to look onto this motorcycle if you want a comfortable motorcycle for your city use and some travels and if you are someone who feels that yes i'm done with everything in the motorcycle segment i want a good motorcycle for my city use and some weekend rides and of course yeah and uh, one more thing is like this motorcycle is not ideal for long distance touring because as i told you don't have much of a capacity to place a lot of luggage on this and uh, yes of course you can have a tank bag but if you want to keep saddle bag then uh, there is no grab rail in the back so that makes a difference and uh, in that case you can look at the TNT 300 that is much more comfortable in the sense that it can carry more luggage when compared to this one if someone asks me that uh, should i to pick this one or the interceptor 650 i don't say that there is no comparison the uh, 650 is like it's a very value for money machine the royal enfield has uh, <laughs> marked that machine at a very low price point so there is no comparison this is purely a retro motorcycle the interceptor is more towards a classic motorcycle but this does the justice to the tag of that retro motorcycle in looks and sound and everything whatever you are so only one thing which i can ask for will be a, a bigger tank on this motorcycle but it's not going to be deal breaker on this one but just telling that yes that can be one thing and other than that I, I don't feel there could be an improvement on this motorcycle okay i forgot to mention the riding ergonomics man just get onto this motorcycle like there is absolutely no sportiness that is associated with it sit on the motorcycle you have a complete reach towards the handlebar like that completely completely relaxed riding posture you have a slightly forward set foot peg that's good it is not too much forward set the reason because if it is too much forward set then uh taller riders will be having a problem so this motorcycle is for taller riders shorter riders and of course i have to say that if you're shorter and if you're chubby then do check this out okay you will like it finally benley has come up with that motorcycle the retro motorcycle and rightly placed in the 500 cc segment and i really love each and every bit of this motorcycle by now uh as i told the red one looks stunning okay the red one looks really really stunning the brake lights and the tail section actually looks like a ducati i have to say that so one thing i forgot to mention about this motorcycle is the service cost and all those things so first of all this motorcycle comes for 6 lakhs 27000 uh, on road in bangalore and the service cost is somewhere from uh, somewhere to 6000 to 7000 rupees and you do the service once in 6000 kilometers or 6 months and expected mileage is somewhere uh, 20 to 25 km per liter i hope this video helped you and if you have any doubts about this motorcycle do let me know in the comment section and as always show some love in the form of likes and comments see you in the next video until then bye bye